February 11th, which is also a couple days away from Valentine's Day. It's going to be Camille and I's first Valentine's Day together. February 13th is when we had our first date. This weekend is just pretty big. Last year, February 14th, he got me a matcha latte. You know, I really like the matcha latte, but hopefully there is a bit of an upgrade. My idea for this Valentine's Day is I bought us matching hoodies. They're champion hoodies from Urban. I'm going to sew into the sleeve like heart T and then another one will say heart G for our initials. And then I also got this um, on Urban. This is like $2 on clearance. So even though it's silly, I just decided to get it. But it's just like a little book about love. And apparently this is a telltale heart and it will react to your body temperature to give you readings about, you know, your love life. So now I'm going to sew and I haven't sewed since the fourth grade. So I'm on the floor doing it and I made like no progress. <laughs> I had to stop and hide the sweaters because I'm going to pick up Ganil right now. He's having Chinese New Year's Eve dinner with my family and I will continue this later. Today is Chinese New Year, so happy Chinese New Year. I'm wearing the closest thing I have to red to give myself good luck for the new year. And I also got red envelopes. You know, I'm still a child, so I still get money from my relatives. But, you know, the day I'm an adult and I actually have to pass these out is gonna be a really sad day for me. These pink ones are super cute. So since it's Chinese New Year, that also means it's only two days away from Valentine's Day. So let me show you the progress. Here it is. It's definitely not done. I have to go over it a couple more times. I looked up some videos like um, sewing initials on my boyfriend's hoodie and like how to sew on a sleeve, stuff like that. But the videos actually got hella complicated. So I, yeah, I just didn't take any other advice and I'm just gonna wing it. That will also definitely complicate my life even more than if I just learned from the video, but it's fine. Here are our sewing tools. Why did I say tools like that? Tools? Tools? Whatever. Okay, I got this sewing stuff from my mom, obviously. I want to do the heart in red, and this is the only red there is, I think. Or I could do one red, one pink. I wanted to do the letter, our initials, in white, but I feel like it won't really show on this color hoodie. I guess I could also do navy blue to match like what's going on here is this maybe no i just have black maybe i'll do black let me show you guys my very unprofessional process first i take a needle i don't know like what the different types of noodle needles like if it even matters i just randomly selected this one first i'm gonna thread it through you see the hole and it's not focusing, but the point is there's a little hole, okay? I will put it through. <laughs> Easy, yay. In fourth grade, I was in a sewing club. <laughs> my after school teacher taught me how to sew. So that is where all my knowledge comes from. Very nice lady, I think her name was Miss Esco. Here is my needle and um, thread. And then I just knot the ends together. Eh. 
just sewed in the letter, like the letter T in black. It doesn't look perfect at all. It's not straight, but I kind of look that it looks very organic. So it looks messy, but I feel like that's kind of the vibe, you know? So yeah, I think this is kind of pretty cute. My mom actually came in here and roasted me for it. And she said like, why'd you pick this color? And like, I should help you fix it. The other hoodie has an initial on the left sleeve. So I don't know if I wanted to match and also put this one on the left sleeve or if like maybe when we hold hands, that will be the left and right. I just watched my first sewing video and it made me realize that I did everything wrong the first time. I should have done my own sweater first where it was heart G and then did his second like uh, so that he would have the better one. Okay, um, oh shit, I'm watching Sekuno. <laughs> okay, so here's what I have. I like just sewed the little heart thing and then I saw this video where you're supposed to back stitch uh, and go around the sew that you just made, like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until you fill out the whole thing. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> this is like how people go blind. Ah, I'm so good at this. I used to do this for my grandma too. Now you guys can watch me sew. <laughs> And I'm gonna watch it second. We're gonna walk and we're gonna beat the shit out of this guy. Yay, I'm done. <laughs> I accidentally made mine look a lot nicer than his. Oh my god. But his took like more, the heart tea took way more time because I just wasn't as practiced. <laughs> it's okay, I think it looks cute that it looks like a child did it, you know? from today he asked me out on um, our first date <laughs> and on that day he got me a matcha latte so I got a matcha latte to um, signify that important day we had our first date at Cafe Bennett and then he bought me a matcha latte so now a year later I also have a matcha latte it's the really popular like iced matcha latte with two pumps of chai and people say this is supposed to taste like the moon how you order it online like on the app is a grande iced chai tea latte with two pumps chai and three matcha powder. And, but I also got light ice and soy milk. Man. I like just like a regular matcha tea latte more than this. Mm. Wait, really? You don't like it? I don't like it either. It's just like whatever. I don't like cinnamon either. Because <laughs> everyone else was just saying how much they liked it. I just wanted to give it a try. It was like the Charlie D'Amelio cold brew. Except I actually really like Charlie D'Amelio's cold brew. Look up from your telescope. Take me on this journey home. I don't want to wait no more. <laughs> Let me turn behind the moon. Tell me you'll be on real soon. I don't wanna wait no more. We could be dancing in the stars. We could be floating all the way. As long as I take a video. Take a video. I'm safely in your arms, and it don't really matter where we stay. Yeah, because you said you wanted a candle. I couldn't find one.
I'm the one that like we have from last time though. Yeah. I like it. Okay, yay! This is like, something I bought for like two dollars. The cool thing, not cool because it's probably a scam, but apparently this one, like if you take this out of the bag and you put it on your hand, it will change color and it'll tell you like how in love you are. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> is this Skittles? Oh yeah, because you wanted Skittles. Stupid, but I'll do it. <laughs> I know, it's stupid. <gasps> it curled up! It curled up! It curled up! If it curls up, it means you're forever alone. No! Wait, it curled up entirely? No. Babe! What does that mean? <laughs> it means you're forever alone! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> moving top. It was moving top earlier. And, okay, my turn, my turn. Go. Moving bottom got it bad. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> Wait, it's actually it's moving for you. It's curling top and bottom, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My hands just full. <laughs> okay, you can open it. Wow. wow. I had a chance. <laughs> I know, you guessed it earlier too. I like it, I like it. Love tea. Yeah, I sewed it myself. Oh, you did? Yeah. You got to sew. <laughs> no. Oh, no, we're you... matching. Yeah. Oh, that's why it was so thick. And I actually sewed yours first. Like, try to do yours first, and then I did this one second. So I feel like I did the second one better because I got like more practice. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> Next, we'll wear it. <laughs> <laughs> I got back home safe and I'm telling Daniel that I had a great Valentine's Day and he's telling me that he also had a great Valentine's Day. Confirm. I had a great time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.